Hey, what's up? Today I want to share with you 10 frugal travel tips. Frugal living simply enhances my experience of life and I wouldn't want to have it any other way. Now before I get into the video, I just want to quickly differentiate between being cheap and being frugal. Being cheap for me is going to ridiculous extents to save money and being frugal for me simply means doing things that will save me money and will also enhance my experience of life. Number one, travel in the off season. Places are cheaper, accommodation is cheaper, there are fewer people and it's just so much more enjoyable. Number two, shop around for flights. Be flexible when it comes to dates, airports and the number of connecting flights as well as the length of layovers. Number three, look for alternative transportation. There's more to traveling than just jumping on an airplane. Look at buses, look at trains, look at ride shares, look at whatever you can find and compare. Choose what makes the most sense for you in your situation. Number four, choose your accommodation wisely. There's so much more to traveling than staying in hotels or resorts. These days, you've got so many options. You've got Airbnb, where you can stay in someone's house or apartment. You've got house sitting, where you can look at someone's pet and house or just house or apartment. You can stay free of charge with a local through couch surfing. There are literally a million options. And I always find those options so much more enjoyable. And I've actually only ever stayed in hotels when it was indeed the cheapest option, which it hardly ever is. I just find it so much more enjoyable to stay in a place where someone is actually living or to stay with someone who's actually living there. It just makes for a much more authentic experience and it's definitely my preference. Number five, bring snacks. For me, that's an important one. I'm vegan and sometimes it's simply difficult to find vegan food on the go. It's not to say that it's difficult in places. Usually it's just that you find yourself in a certain area where there isn't really any food around. And I found it really helpful to just have a snack with me. Whether that's a banana or an apple, doesn't really matter. I just make sure that I have some sort of snack with me because I can get really hangry and having a snack on me is vital because that way I can keep going for a couple more hours until my next meal. Number six, eat like a local. Now I'm not one to eat in fancy restaurants no matter where I am, so why would I do that whenever I travel, right? It doesn't really make sense. I always aim to support places that are affordable by local standards and that's a really big one because oftentimes I see people raving about places, oh that's so cheap, that's so cheap, but then I look at it and I'm like, oh no, by local standards that's actually not cheap at all. I just strive to support places that make vegan food affordable for everyone and so I aim to support only those places. And alternatively, you can always stock up at a grocery store or go to a local market. Number seven, know the exchange rate. Wherever you go, make sure you have some sort of currency conversion app on your phone. I use XE and really love it. So whenever I buy a bus ticket or other pricier items, then I always make sure to have my app open and do the maths just so that I get a better understanding of what, how much I'm actually paying. So just make sure that you have some sort of currency app on hand. Number eight, drink the tap water wherever possible. Of course, in some places it's not safe to drink tap water. And that being said, in lots of places where tap water isn't safe to drink, lots of locals actually do drink it and end up getting really sick. So whenever you can and whenever it's healthy to drink tap water, make sure to drink tap water. It saves on plastic, it's right there, and it's just so much easier. And if it's safe to drink, why not drink it? I drank tap water in Vienna, obviously, in London, in New York City, in Berlin, and 
in a couple other places where I probably shouldn't have. Um, regardless though, drink it wherever it's safe to drink. Number nine, stay in affordable areas. I was recently in India in Hyderabad and the only affordable option was a low-key hotel. And the hotel happened to be in the most expensive area in India. And most things that were around were really expensive. So my tip is, even if you get an amazing deal on a place that's in an expensive area, don't go for it. Because everything around the place that you're staying at will be more expensive. Always choose an affordable place in an affordable area area. Don't make the mistake that I did. It's not much fun to stay in an affordable place and to be surrounded by relatively expensive places. Number 10. Book as you go. Buses, tours, and various other activities are almost always cheaper at the actual destination. I always make sure to book bus tickets in person. Of course, sometimes it's cheaper online. I always look at it online and then I compare it and then right now I'm in Vietnam and a lot of the times it is actually way cheaper to just book it in person. And the same thing goes for tours and various other activities. Do your research and if it's cheaper in person, just book it in person. There's usually no need to book tours or activities in advance. You can just book that when you get there. And my last tip is tip number 11, think local currency. I'm a big lover of Happy Cow. It's a vegan app and website. And oftentimes I click on a place and people are like, oh, it's so affordable, it's so inexpensive, I love it. And then I look at it and I'm like, oh, wait, this is actually ridiculously expensive by local standards. So whenever you go to a place, always make sure to be aware of what's considered expensive and what's considered cheap by local standards. I could go on about this all day. For me personally, it's just really important to think local currency and local currency only. Don't make the mistake of walking into a place and thinking, oh wow, this is so cheap. No. Put yourself in someone else's shoes and think local currency. It will make you a much more responsible, a much more conscious traveler. And for me, that's really the most important thing. That was it for my 10 frugal travel tips. Let me know if you have any tips on how to travel more frugally. I would love to hear from you. Have a great day.